Hi there, Osmonds people. Your regal ruler, Tony Prince here, the Osmonds' number one fan. I'm proud and happy to have been asked to introduce the boys talking about their very own magazine, Osmonds World, edited by them, especially for you. Every month from now on, you can read all about the Osmond family from the inside and get the true facts on the Osmonds that only they can tell you. I've been privileged to know the boys for some time now, and comparing their last show in London was the thrill of a lifetime for me. Back in August 1972, your royal ruler visited the Osmonds at Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas to see what all the fuss was about. Well, I not only saw the Osmonds deliver one of the most polished, power-packed and professional cabaret acts I'd ever seen in my life, but I also had the pleasure of meeting the fabulous family. Well, of course, after three days with them and falling in love with these beautiful people, I flew back to England and from the top of every rooftop, I shouted my prophecies that the Osmonds were coming, but no one seemed to listen, apart from you, the fans. Well, the rest is pop history. But now another royal regal prophecy. The Osmonds will remain a number one attraction and number one hit makers for many, many years. The Osmonds, you see, have got something that other groups have never, never had. A sincere love for you. And that's true, because I know them. And now you can get to know them every month in Osmonds World and hear now what the Osmonds think about you. Hello, this is Alan Osmond, and it's really good to get a chance to let you know what I think of you. You know, in a nutshell, I'd say that you're just really wonderful. You've been so kind to us since the very first time we came to Britain, and I remember that very clearly. We arrived at London Airport without so much as a hit record in Britain, but we were made fantastically welcome and made so many new friends in your country. Now we really look forward to every visit and sure hope that you do too, because you and your happiness mean such a lot to us. We want to return not only soon, but many times in the future, so that all my brothers and I can say hello and thanks to you personally. In the meantime, enjoy our very own magazine. See you soon. Hello, my name is Wayne, and it's really nice to meet you. My brother Donnie said he wanted to listen in on what I had to say to you, but I told him he couldn't because this is a personal talk between you and me. I hope everything is going well for you in Britain and that you're getting some nice hot weather. You deserve to have all the good things in life because you've given so many great things to us. For instance, the chance to get to know you, the chance to do our own magazine, and the chance to see and do all sorts of things that we'd never have done otherwise. Personally, I'll never forget the occasion when we met the Queen. That was one of the highlights of our career. Anyway, we'll be over in Britain before long, so see you soon and take care of yourself. Hi, this is Merrill Osmond speaking to you. How fantastic it is to be bringing you our very own book. Full of us, the way we look at life, the things we spend our days doing, and full of you, too. Because no Osmond book would be complete without the people who made it all happen, and that is you. We hope you like the first edition, and if you do, that you'll write and tell us so. And also tell us what else you'd like to see inside. The magazine means many things to us. It means more than anything else though that we care about you and want to feel close to you, even when we can't be there in person. I hope it does bring us closer together, and that the care we have put into it will show how much we love you. See you soon. Bye for now. Hi, my name is Jay, and I just want you all to know that I think you're some of the most fantastic friends in the world. When we get a few minutes to rest, one thing I love to do, and that is to read through our mail from Britain, it's fascinating to read about you and the kind of life you lead. And the sort of things you say to us can't help but make me feel proud that I should be a part of it all. I think that letters are a tremendous way of bringing people closer together. So I hope that you'll never stop writing. But one thing I want you all to know, and that is that although we may not get a chance to answer every letter, we do feel the same way about you too. We love Britain. We think that British girls are polite, genuine, and sweet and pretty too. So don't forget, we're thinking of you. Hi, I'm Donny Osmond, and you're, well, you're someone very special to me. I'd like to tell you why. You see, I think about you a lot of the time. I think about you when I'm up there on stage. You may not even be in the audience, but you're still there to me. 
I remember you sometimes when I'm alone in my room, or walking, or uh, goofing around with Jay or Jimmy. I think about you when we first came to Britain, first saw you and fell in love with everything we saw. And all the times I can't help but think that I must be the luckiest person ever. I've got a great family, a great career, and I've got you. I'll try never to let you down. Meantime, I hope you enjoy reading our own magazine. I can tell you that we had great fun producing it, and I can't wait to start on the next one now. See you soon. Hi, I'm Jimmy Osmond, and I want to tell you how much I've enjoyed coming to England. I hope it won't be long before we come back again. You were all so nice to me. And I want to thank you very much for making my records in the hits. When I heard the news about Long-Haired Lover from Liverpool and Tweedly Dee, I was very excited and happy. Well, I guess that's all for now, and I hope to see you soon. Well, that's it, folks. While the boys go straight back to practicing for the new show, this is your regal ruler, Tony Prince, saying, sit down and enjoy the Osmond's world this month and every month.